Hi there and welcome. I'm Jeff Plack with Biltmore Wines. With entertaining being such a core part of what we do here at Biltmore, we know that this holiday season, entertaining will have a little bit different look and feel than it did in past holiday seasons. So we're here to help you today with how to host a virtual wine tasting with family and friends, whether they're from around the corner or from around the globe. So please join me. Let's head to the kitchen. Alrighty, here we are in the kitchen. Let's get our wines. We'll start with the limited release Orange Muscat, then move to the Biltmore State Sauvignon Blanc. From there, we'll hit the limited release Merlot and finish up with the Vanderbilt Reserve Dry Creek Cabernet Sauvignon. So the first thing you want to think about when you're setting up a virtual tasting with friends, family, etc., is what your platform is going to be. So some of the ones out there that are common today, you have your Zoom, FaceTime, Google Hangouts. Set your time. Make sure it's a time that works for everybody. Make sure your friends aren't at work while you're trying to have a virtual wine tasting. And also familiarize yourself with that platform. You want to make sure you know how to use it before you're hosting the tasting itself so that it's not clunky and you get off to a smooth start. The next thing you want to do is select your wines. For this tasting, we've selected our virtual tasting bundle off of BiltmoreShop.com. We also have a lot of other bundles that you could choose if you wanted to have a preset selection. We recommend anything from four to five wines. Otherwise, have fun with it. You can set a theme if you wanted to do all Cabernets or if you wanted to do all white wines or all reds or have a progression from sweet wines all the way through dry red wines. You can do a lot of different fun things but go ahead and set your theme ahead of time. Be sure you select wines that are available to everyone and accessible so that they're not trying to scramble around and try to get something similar uh, that's not available in their area. So BiltmoreShop.com is a great place to go and find something that's available to everyone. The next thing you wanna do is get your supplies together and be sure you send a list of needed supplies to your virtual tasting guests. I like to have a tasting mat We definitely want our glasses. Make sure you have a wine opener. That can make the virtual tasting very difficult if you forget one of those. And then also a pad for taking notes and a pen that's always helpful so you can kind of remember as you go if anything's noteworthy about a wine. If you don't have a tasting mat or a tasting sheet at home or access to one, the good news is we've prepared one for you in our holiday wine guide, which is available for download at BiltmoreShop.com. From there, it's also helpful to have the tasting notes from the winery available to help guide your tasting. While those don't always tell you exactly what you're gonna taste because all of our palates are different, it's helpful to have that as a guideline. So maybe if you're tasting something and you can't exactly pinpoint what that flavor is that you're experiencing, those notes can be helpful to you. They can also help with questions that your guests may have about various wines in terms of if it's aged in a barrel and how long and, and things like that. Those tasting notes will be a helpful tool to you as you go through that tasting. Another thing that's helpful are pairings. A lot of times those notes will contain recommended pairings and then you can take your virtual tasting to a whole nother level. You can have a Friendsgiving or a holiday party and everyone can have prepared a meal ahead of time or some light bites ahead of times that are designed to pair with those wines as you're going through that tasting with your friends and family. So let's go ahead and open a bottle and have a little bit of taste and talk about how we do our notes as part of our virtual tasting. I'm gonna go ahead and cheat a little bit and move straight to one of my favorites, which is our Biltmore State Sauvignon Blanc that just recently received a 92 point score. So we're very proud of this wine, but again, it's also one of my personal favorites. So let's get this open and have a taste of this wine and talk a little bit about how we're gonna build our tasting notes. And one of the things you always want to do is protect your hands as you open this wine because some of the components of this opener can be sharp. I definitely have cut myself a time or two over the years opening a bottle of wine. That can ruin any tasting, even if it's virtual. So one of the first things you want to do is, is take a good long look at the wine, hold it up, notice the color, and identify that in your notes. And then I like to give mine a little swirl just to open up the aromas in the glass. Get your nose all the way down in there, take a nice deep whiff, 
and notice what the aromas are, what's striking you immediately, and just jot down on that paper the first thing that comes to mind. You don't have to be a wine expert, and from there you're gonna have a taste, and you're gonna think about what does that taste like in your mouth? So what flavors come out? Are, are they comparable to what you smelled? Are they different? Because sometimes they, what you taste can be different than what you smell. Oftentimes it's gonna be the same, but there could be some differences there. What's the structure like? So how's that wine built? What does it do in your mouth? Does it, does it taste heavy or is it thin? Where does it hit you on your taste buds in the back versus the front? And then you wanna just look at the overall uh, body of the wine. Does it seem balanced? Is, it, is the acidity stronger or is the sugar stronger or the alcohol come out? So just jot down those various things that you're noticing as you're going through this tasting with your family and your friends. Thank you for being a part of this video today. And first and foremost, want to wish you a safe and happy holiday season. Be sure to stay connected on our Instagram page, hashtag Built More Wines on your own tastings so that we can be connected to what you're doing. And follow us for future events and videos just like this one. And again, happy holidays and stay safe. Thanks for joining us. Cheers. <laughs>